Good day everyone, this is Matt from a rallying group. It's been a long time between videos. Um, promise to do better. But today we do have some noteworthy news. Now, for those of you, some of you may be aware, Zoho has released a web browser called Ula, that's U-L-A-A. And uh, recently, and I think it's just before the weekend, uh, they have released that as a flat pack, so now you can install it directly. So let me just go to the Ula website first. So I have actually installed it already. Um, and let's just go to the Ula website and see what this is all about. If you want to go there, it's ula.zoho.com. Now, you do not have to be a Zoho customer to use this. But if you are a Zoho client, it's definitely helpful. Because it uses your Zoho account to synchronize your data, your history, your passwords, as well as the extensions. So if you are using Zoho Ula, um, you can sign in to the Zoho account via here. And it just uses your Zoho account. It will not be shared with anyone else. So now previously when you wanted to install it for Linux, and by the way, Ula is available for... Windows, Apple, Mac, Intel, Apple M1, or the ARM64 versions, Android, as well as iOS, and of course here in Linux. Now previously when you wanted to install uh, the Ula browser for Linux, it's just click the, the download button, accept the terms and conditions, and you know, I obviously always recommend you read through them, although nobody ever does. And here it downloads then a Debian file, or you can execute a script. Now, if you're using Ubuntu um, or Ubuntu base, now this is the Alpha 5 for Cosmic uh, by System76. Can't wait for the release. I'm very excited about that one. That based on Ubuntu, so I could potentially put download this install script and run it. That is not the recommended way. So we're not going to do that today. I'll show you here in the store. So I'm opening up the Cosmic store. And if you want to search for ULA, you can see that it's actually available as a flat pack. Um, and that is a massive update because right now Zoho has two applications released as flat pack. I did a video maybe a year, slightly more than a year back on Zoho Notebook that's released as a flat pack. And now here ULA browser. And by the way, for Zoho Notebook, if you want to find that as a flat pack, it is Notebook. So this is the one. Now, the nice thing with Zoho Notebook is, you see here in Ula, I just installed it, didn't inst uh, install any extensions yet. The, note take, the Ula Notes is already here that actually uses the Zoho Notebook. So if you want to annotate a page and make some notes on it, it will actually ask you to sign in to your Zoho account. Or if you sign in with Ula with your Zoho account already, it just creates a notebook for you under your account. So that means you can do web annotations or any other notes uh, and it's just available for you highly recommend it okay so now what is ula so the first things first it is a privacy browser so if you're familiar with chrome uh, it's built on chromium and taken out all the tracking and all that stuff so ula is quite uh, of course quite high on the privacy score so here is how they do it and you can read through that yourself but you know, you know, it auto resets your, your browser IDs, etc. So I would definitely recommend looking at browser as well. We go through it. So you got the personal mode, which is the one that we're in right now. If you want to do your social media browser, there's a work mode. It takes away a lot of the distractions and pop-ups. Then there is the kids mode for your children. You actually need a password to get out of it. And it filters all kinds of stuff that you really shouldn't be showing to kids. Now, still, we recommend if you're having children on the browser and they're of a certain age, regardless of kids mode, um, supervision is recommended. But, you know, we're all as parents adults, so we know how to raise our children. But it's good to know that there is actually a browser version, a browser option for that. Now, in order to switch the modes in the browser, <coughs> what I do here is I click on the icon where it says personal, and then I can see the modes here. So again, kids mode, there's open season. Be careful with this one. Open season means no protections whatsoever. It's great for testing, but you might want to disable that in the profiles. There's the work mode and the developer mode, and then the incognito. Now I am in personal mode, which is kind of like the mode that you would use for your normal 
you know, browsing Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever it is for social media, uh, the Ebays, the Amazons, etc. If you do want to move to work mode, what will happen? It actually opens up a new tab and you see also there's a color difference here. So gray is for personal and the blue is for the work mode, right? Now, there's other modes. So let's open up some other ones. So here's the kids mode. Now what it will ask you is to enter a password. Now what will happen is you cannot get out of this unless you enter that password. Now note also the other browsers disappeared, right? So you can't actually go anywhere. So what you will find here is it's kids mode, kids YouTube, everything is here. Um, they have filters so that it's, you know, you don't get into things that, you know, may not be age appropriate. Uh, as said, you probably want to supervise. Um, but yeah, there we go. So if I now go exit the kids mode, I need to enter that same password again. Done. Right. So now my other two browser modes are still here. This one here. Oh, that's better let's add another mode to it so we got the work mode we got the kids mode let's add the developer mode now what you see here this is open season so everything has been disabled that is there to protect you so if you need to do some testing and you want to know if that's the browser protections that are causing you the problems or if it's just uh, something else you can test it in open season in other words it's your own risk and the final mode that I would like to show you is the developer mode. Now, if I start the developer mode for the first time, and let me actually make a little bit more browser real estate here, right? What it asked me to do, yep, not now, it asked me like, hey, here are some suggested extensions that you would like to install. So what you can do is say, oh yeah, I use this one, I use this one, and this one here, the rest I don't need. So then it will just install those extensions for you. You can always find those extensions in the web store, that is fine. Uh, but it's quite handy that it actually asks you like, hey, you enter developer mode, uh, here are some extensions that you would probably want to have. Now, if you go to the Ula homepage, you can switch the modes from here as well. And you can see the stats on how Ula is actually keeping you safe and i put safe between quote marks because uh it's it's a web browser right just be careful with whatever you do and what e what emails you leave behind and where you log in now the extension web store is because it's based on chromium you can just use the chromium extensions themselves so you just click here extensions and then visit the web store and it will go to the chrome web store now you notice if you're a windows user i keep saying chromium Linux users will know that Chrome is based on Chromium, which is the open source project. Chromium is also the base for Brave. It's based for Edge. It's now also the base for Ula. And uh, so here, the, all, the, the, all the extensions for Chrome work in Ula. Now, one extension I highly recommend, it's free, is the Zoho Annotator extension. So that would be the first extension I would install and I, uh, Hint, hint, Zoho, but maybe you should do this one by default. Um, once that extension is installed, and if you turn on sync, it will bring it to all your other devices as well, or at least the desktops where the extension works. Um, this is an extension that you that can be used to make uh, screenshots. So let's just go to, uh, let's go back to Ula, and let's just make a screenshot. So it can do the whole page. You can annotate things that are important. You can obviously mask things. Uh, it is a very powerful little tool and then you can copy it or download it or share it via other Zoho apps if you have them. Now, it cannot, it's not only used for generating screenshots. You can use this tool, the Zoho Annotator tool to create videos as well. So you just go to screen recorder. You have to give it access to your microphone if you want your camera as well. You can have a countdown timer for three seconds. So just to get you ready and you can share the entire desktop, a window or a tab page. And yeah, they have a video recorder, which just records you as a video. And then here are some preferences. So again, there's actually two products here that I want to highlight. Number one is the Ula browser. Um, if you're a Unix or Linux user, you can get it now from Flatpak. So that makes it distribution agnostic. Fantastic. You also can get it directly from the store. It will update as you want it to and no more fuzzing about with the command line. And then the second product is the Zoho Annotator. 
highly recommend using it now. Zoho Annotator works in any Chromium browser. There's also a version in Firefox, I believe. Now, I'm, you see Firefox still installed here. I'm not using it. This is my you know, virtual machine for Cosmic. Um, but I believe in the Firefox version of Annotator, you can't do the videos. So check that out. They may have updated that. But in the Chromium-based browser, um, screenshots and screencasting. I would say happy browsing the web, hopefully with Ula.